wanna be official. Oh, they yeah. You say you wanna be official. Oh, they yeah. It's your girl Sarge Craziness and I'm coming to you, you and you with another word on the street segment on camera, okay? So, <clears throat> this is about Jocelyn and her makeup artist and if y'all remember Benzino, he had a girlfriend, wife to be, I don't know what their relationship is now, but they, they, so apparently they've been living together and Funk and not Neva got the tea which i got the tea from famalos the blogger she real good like i always said so shout out to you girl um so let's just go ahead and get into it okay <clears throat> so funky dropped some alleged tea on jocelyn and athena aka Thiti. and this is on i guess this is on his website but i'm getting off of famalos website so y'all you know check out whoever you want to so you have got to be careful who the hell you piss off especially when they know all your tea child i was walking through the mall minding my business as i always do when i received a phone call from a friend of a friend that unleashed on jocelyn hernandez and i like me some jocelyn oh but anyway sidebar According to the call I received, the makeup artist who traveled with Jocelyn to co-host The Real is now suing her for unpack. Back it up. Don't tell me this is like another Candy and Johnny situation. I didn't, and I know I uh, said that wrong, but I meant to say that wrong. Situation, okay? Now, situation, situation, okay? Please don't tell me this is like another one of those. Please don't. Once again, I like my Jocelyn. But anyways, um, let me get back. Let me get back. No big deal. Happens all the time in reality TV game. But child, what's come out as a result of the unpaid wages is the real tea. And I can see Funky Dineva doing all that. That's how he talked to. <laughs> but... Okay, you cannot believe any of what you see on this TV, hold on, on this damn TV. According to my source, Jocelyn and Thethe are roommates in a house in Sandy Springs and suburb, hold on, a suburb of Atlanta. Yeah, that's the suburb, y'all. And hell, it's a lot of damn traffic out there. Okay, so be prepared to stay in the car for at least five, ten minutes just trying to get to the next exit. I'm just saying. So, so said makeup artist was so close and comfortable with Jocelyn that they stayed over at the home from time to time and would cook meals so on and so forth. Here's one particular incident worth mentioning. The makeup artist was asked to do Jocelyn's makeup, her sister's makeup and Stevie's daughter makeup early one morning. As a result of the early call time and the woman wanting their faces to be fresh, well and the women that wanted their faces to be faces to be fresh the makeup artist was asked to spend the night and cook dinner or whatever Thiefy must have not been looped in on the arrangement and went the hell off whoa according to my source Thiefy called Jocelyn and went off citing that she Thiefy is one is the one who buys the groceries for the house so how dare Jocelyn have someone over there cooking up her ish the makeup artist sub sub subsequently called jocelyn and asked her to explain why Thiefy was going off on them after she aka okay, jocelyn had instructed them to cook jocelyn commenced to tell the makeup artist how she didn't have time for this and how Thiefy and the makeup artist need to figure it out <laughs> I believe Jocelyn said some uh, stuff like that. The conversation escalated to an argument where Jocelyn exclaimed, You don't know who I am. You know, oh man, I wish I could do her voice like Jess Hilarious. She do it so good. If y'all ain't uh, seen that video, she did an uh, impression of her. Definitely go check that out. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't even understand what you're saying. You're just blabbing, blabbing, talking out of your ass. But you know what? That's the problem. You don't have no ass. You spent all your love and hip hop and lancer checks on your boobs. And now you look crazy. 
And now you're just mad because I'm the baddest bitch and I'm a Puerto Rican princess and I came like this. To the story, once Jocelyn Hernandez's legal team caught one of the makeup artists filing suit against Jocelyn, they began trying to settle this dispute. But not without trying to get the makeup artist first. Makeup artist first. An alleged email was sent over to makeup artists with instructions on what they can and cannot do if they wanted to settle this debt. Oh gosh. For starters, the makeup artist was asked to remove any and all pictures of Jocelyn or photos from inside her home from the social media. Secondly, and more interesting, Lee, the makeup artist was asked not to divulge anything they may have witnessed while in the company of Jocelyn, any of the ongoings inside her home, or any of the personal information related to Jocelyn they may have acquired. So basically, anything you saw, anything you witnessed, keep your mouth on hush. Shh, okay. Uh, that's basically what that means. In short, the makeup artist was being asked to not divulge any alleged drug like I said anything you done seen drug activities were taking place in Jocelyn's home the source that revealed this information wants to express that it is this new makeup artist that Jocelyn has been using that has her looking more refined and less like a man playing dress up in the flea market clothing oh my gosh Hopefully Jocelyn has been referred another makeup artist who can keep her looking like a natural woman in Aretha Franklin's voice. Oh my gosh. So the story is still developing and you know they are going to get the tea which I'm going to go ahead and let y'all know what's going on like I always do. But yeah I'm like oh my gosh not my Jocelyn. Not my Puerto Rican princess. Not, see I can't even do it but you know where I was going. Not the baddest bush. Okay. But yeah, y'all tell me what y'all think about that in the comment section below. And I'll see you on the next word on the street. Peace.